Hey Tigers, Happy New Year. It's Friday, January 12th, and we are back with episode number 8 of Tiger Vision News for the 23-24 school year. I'm Emma. And I'm Avery. This is a reminder that, as always, High School, FCA, and Teens for Christ will be meeting in the old gym at lunch today. Everyone is invited. Now, if you'll please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Local Bank. Trucks for you. American Legion Frank Glad Post Number 20. Armstrong Bank, Bravado Wireless, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Ford Gibson Education Foundation, Keith Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Somax School of Music, Jeff Walker at Edward Jones, Max Drive-In, Tiger's Den, Burrow Post Frame Supply, Dr. Coy and Dr. Kimberly Durosset, G&H Outdoor Services, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Michelle Mackey at Chinoweth and Cohen, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, Simple Simon's Pizza, Sticks Four Mile Stop, and Sticks Fort Quick Stop. All juniors and seniors should have received a ballot via Google Classroom to vote for the 2024 Junior Senior Prom. If you did not receive a ballot, please see Ms. Brandon. All ballots are due by the end of fifth hour today, so don't forget to cast your vote. While we are on the topic of surveys, middle school and high school students should have received a cafeteria survey in your school email. If you haven't already completed it, please do so. The results will help our cafeteria staff better serve us in the future. Auditions are in the books, so prepare yourself for the 27th Annual Talent Show sponsored by the NHS. It will be Friday, January 26th. We will let you know more about it as it gets closer. And a big thank you to the students in the middle school and high school that auditioned for Vivia. Congrats to those selected for roles for this musical as it will be staged in late April to celebrate our town's 200th birthday. Our classmate Trey has been doing a little research on a feature of a music streaming app that some of you use that tallies up your listening history. Trey, tell us more. Spotify is a digital music podcast and video service that gives you access to millions of songs and other content from creators all over the world. The amazing thing about Spotify is that it keeps records of what songs and artists you've listened to. And by year end, the Swedish streaming platform packages your user data. Via your countless replays of Taylor Swift's re-record 1989 album, or Frank Ocean's jazzy R&B hits. And what has since become one of its most successful and most shareable marketing ploys on social media, Spotify Rap. So tell me about your Spotify Rap. My number one artist was Frank Ocean, and my number one song was When We Were Young by Adele. Uh, my number one artist was Rod Wave, and my number one song was Moving On by Rod Wave. Uh, my number one song was Can't Leave Without It, and my number one artist was 21 Savage. And I've been your reporter, Trey, for Tiger Vision News. Thank you, Trey. That's a nice feature to know about. I like to look back and see what my faves were over the past. That is a great feature. Thanks again, Trey. All right, it's nice outside right now, but it's time to find out about what the weather is going to look like over the next week or so. Let's go to Lily to see if it's going to snow soon. Thanks, ladies. Well, the bottom's going to drop out of the heat bucket for the next four to five days. The chances for snow are gone until Sunday. We have a 70% chance and Monday, and we have a 30% chance. Temps are going to be as low as we have had in nearly a year. Monday's night slows are below zero, and we've had to wait until Wednesday of next week before we get above freezing. Take cold weather precautions for any outdoor animals you may have, and bundle up if you're going to go outdoors. It's going to be cold, and the wind chill will be brutal. As always, we'd like to thank News on 6 for this week's weather graphic. And now, a word from one of our sponsors. 
Keith Hardware and Supply has been located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma since 1957. We strive to find solutions to your fix and offer a multitude of quality products and services such as steel chainsaws, Yeti coolers, Cub Cadet mowers, case knives, and big green egg grills. In early 2015, Keith Hardware remodeled and added hundreds of new items to better serve their customers. At Keith Hardware, we are proud supporters of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! And now let's see what's happening in the fort and around the world. In the fort, we have an Arctic air mass that's going to be hanging around for the next few days or so. Today is your day to prepare for the cold snap. Make sure that you disconnect water hoses from your house and open your cabinet doors that have plumbing inside. These actions may keep you from losing water and your parents from spending hundreds of dollars in repair work. In the state, the movie Killers of the Flower Moon is a 2023 American epic western crime drama film is now streaming on Apple TV+. Set in the 1920s Oklahoma, it focuses on a series of murders of Osage members and relations in the Osage Nation after oil was discovered on tribal land. In the nation, Alabama's football coach Nick Saban was set to retire after 17 seasons and six national championships with the Crimson Tide. In world news, Icon of the Seas is a cruise ship built for the Royal Caribbean and made its home in Port Miami earlier this week. It is the largest ship of its kind in the world. It has 20 floors, is 1,200 feet long, weighs over 250,000 tons, and will cost about 1,800 per person for a seven-day cruise to the Western Caribbean. Can you say senior trip? Sign me up. Avery and I were recently interviewed about our experience in a somewhat new competition team here at the high school. Ren will tell us more about it and then we will take a short commercial break before we have the New Year's dad joke. Ren? The Fort Gibson High School speech and debate team is working hard preparing for their upcoming competition season with their first qualifying tournament happening on Saturday, January 13th. A tremendous amount of individual and duet planning, researching, and creating happens for weeks before we step into the first classroom to compete. So a couple years ago when Mrs. Wicks mentioned the idea of competing in speech and debate, I immediately jumped on it because it's so different from anything that I've ever done before and gave me a chance to really work on my acting and my writing and just putting things together and it's so different from musicals. Uh, my favorite memory from speech and debate um, is being confident that we wouldn't make it very far at districts but actually making it to the final round. I would say my favorite memory so far in speech and debate in all of the years I've been doing it would be the relationships that I build with the students. My favorite memory from speech season would probably be last year at state when we stayed in our hotel we asked the like hotel manager if there was a place where we could go and like practice and rehearse in and he said yes and he pointed us to this room and on the wall above like right beside the door it said champion room and so we were like champion room and then what do you know me and my partner we were the state champions so it was pretty cool it was like we all felt like i don't know so now it's just a running joke the champion room i am excited to attend my first contest and i look forward to the successes ahead i'm rin reporting for tiger vision news Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. It takes a certain kind of humor to truly appreciate a good solid dad joke. And by good, I obviously mean bad. Ridiculously bad. So bad that people are shaking their heads. That's how you know it's a good dad joke. Fortunately for those who appreciate such uncomfortable guilty pleasures in life, the dad joke segment is back for the 23-24 school year. So for all the dads out there, take it away. I asked my dog what's 2 minus 2. He said nothing. What did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing, it just waved. I don't know about you, but I like telling dad jokes. Sometimes he laughs. I made Noblet reporting for Tiger Vision News. Thanks, Aiden. I didn't even know I'd been missing those jokes. And now it's time for On This Day in History. On this day in 1932, Hattie Ophelia Carway became the first woman elected to the U.S. Senate. 
On this day in 1966, the live-action TV series Batman premiered on ABC. A huge hit, it starred Adam West as the caped crusader and Burt Ward as Robin. On this day in 1969, American Gridiron football quarterback Joe Namath, having guaranteed victory, led to the New York Jets to a 16-7 win over the Baltimore Colts in the Super Bowl III. On this day in 1971, the groundbreaking television series All in the Family debuted on CBS. The sitcom became known for its frank and satirical treatment of sensitive or important topics. On this day in 2005, the U.S. space probe Deep Impact was launched in July and shot an 810-pound mass into the nucleus of a comet in order to study its cometary structure. The English historian Edward Hallett Carr once described history as an unending dialogue between the present and the past. Learning about our past is always so interesting to me. And now to Coach London and Mr. Wakes for this week's Tiger Sports Report. Thanks, Emma and Avery. Welcome in here to the uh, Tiger Sports Report. We're here in the old gym. Yep, the not, old gym, baby. Not the new gym. Not the new the gym, gym. Built in 1986. Yes. The old gym built in 1967. Oh, wow. That's nice. Yes, that's, if that's correct. I'm not sure. You're not sure. You made no, that up. Okay, no. great. So, uh, this past weekend, the swimming team went to Hera. Good job there at swimming. And they also went to Middale on Monday. Both times. Great showing. Yeah, great showing. Actually, Hera was at our place on I mean, that Saturday. That's what I mean. And so, uh, yeah, they did a great job. Hera's traditionally a good team. Right. And so, then they go up to Middale with all the city schools and, and compete well. So, uh, great job to them. And it won't be long, and the regionals will be here yeah. for swimming. So, uh, you know, this year it's at Jinx. So, we don't have to travel across the state. Yeah, it'll be at Jinx, and State will be at Jinx as well. So they have a nice facility there? Pretty nice. Okay. Jinx Aquatic Center. Aquatic pretty nice. Center, yeah. Pretty nice. I've went swimming there a couple oh, times. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's, uh, I don't yeah. want to see that. All right. <laughs> also, uh, wrestling had a great Christmas break. They're in the Gulf Shores. The Gulf Shores Scuffle. The Scuffle. Yeah, the Scuffle. And, wow. uh, yeah, talking to Coach and, and everybody, and what a great trip. They won the tournament. They had some other duels down there with some Alabama teams and, and really had a great showing and, and won the tournament. We had guys place really high, obviously, and and just really had a great trip. And so uh, came back with a lot of momentum. Yeah, and I, I saw on Facebook, I believe it was Facebook, Co Coach Johnson, he won like a karaoke tournament. He's so, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. American Idol may be calling. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Millie Vanilli, if he's lip, lip syncing, yes, it could yes. be Millie Vanilli. Yeah. I'm not sure, but yeah. yeah, it was a really good trip, and uh, I know they had a good time and and really played hard, or wrestled hard, and and uh, worked themselves to death. But yeah. uh, well, and then they that's come right. back, and then we got Senior Night yeah. coming up. Senior Night last night um, had a good good showing. If you want to go back and watch that, it's on Tiger Vision. It's at forgivesatigers.tv. Same place you're watching this and. Uh, Congratulations to all those seniors. I know Coach Johnson will be sad to see you guys go after the no end of the doubt. season. No doubt. They've been a big part of that team for yeah. several years. Absolutely. Basketball went to Lincoln Christian last weekend. Big tournament. Big tournament. A lot yeah, of good tough. teams there. Yes, big schools, 5A, 6A, you know, and, and that Lincoln Christian tournament's always tough. So uh, it's an opportunity to play top-notch competition, and that's what we did, and boys and girls. And I think both teams got better for playing them. And so uh, looking, moving on down the road. Yeah. Uh, this past Tuesday, they traveled to Katusa. Girls won big, and uh, the boys won a big game. No question. It was a big, big win for the yeah. girls. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember the final, but it was gigantic. Yeah. And uh, kudos to them. And the boys, you know, got a big lead and beat a really, really good team uh, from Katusa rank. Right. And so, yeah, you're right. It was a big win yeah, for them. So. And, and next week, the old Fort Classic at Fort yep. Gibson, yep. happening the 50th annual. Um, you can come down and watch it. We'll have 24 games going on next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, all in the uh, "quote unquote" new gym, also yeah. known as the Harrison, Harrison Field House. So Beginning at 10 a.m. or 10:30 on Thursday, Friday, 10 a.m. on Saturday. So, uh, so, basketball junkies can get their feel. Yeah, come on out to the Harrison Field House, watch the Old Fort Classic next week. So, uh, I think that's everything. Yep, guys, are getting we're good. Ready for basketball. So, uh, uh, we'll send it back to the studio. Thanks guys for that sports report. Don't forget, we're out of school Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I'm Avery. And I'm Emma. Please be aware that there is a chance of snow this weekend, which may cause us to be out of school or activate a virtual day. Take your devices home if needed and get them charged up. Mass notifications will be sent out if we have changes to our school days. Have a safe weekend and we will see you back here next week on Tiger, Tiger Vision, Vision News. News. Stay there. Stay there.